Hello and welcome everyone to DokiCraft episode 15. Today we're going to start off a little bit different to most episodes and that is we are going to prank Mr. Starkins himself once again. Yes, I have been targeting him for a while now, but I think this prank is going to work very well. If you look in my inventory, we have some carved pumpkins dressed as creepers. If we put these on, you'll see that we are now a creeper. And if I combine this with an invisibility potion, he's going to get the jump scare of a lifetime. So now all I need to do is wait till he gets on and then we're going to go and scare him. But first we need to grab some invisibility potions. There we go. I've got two invisibility potions in my inventory. Now let's head over to Starkin's base. Now last time he was on the server, he logged off I think over where that house is being built right there. So now it's all about the waiting game. Let's wait for him to join up and let's go prank him. Give me, give me a bit of time. Finish up your house or something while you wait. Wait, is the mic picking up any music? Nope. Hey, right, cool, cool, cool. Good time, good time, good time. <laughs> I tried, I tried! <laughs> I watched too much Hellcraft to know what that is, but I was like, I was like, I was gonna go, oh, oh wait, I oh. watched it, no way. I watched too much Hellcraft, man, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> For a split second, it almost got me, but then I was like, when I realized, wait a minute, Hellcraft! <laughs> Well, I, well, you were running around. Hey, on, let me put it back on. You you were running around all over here, right? All a lot here, right? And I was just following you for like 10 <laughs> seconds, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. I've got another two. Do you want this? Take it. There you go. Oh, please, yes. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. If you want to come with me, I've got another little gift for you. Come along with me. Okay. My invis is still a thing. <laughs> Man, that's brilliant, mate. I'm gonna get some. I think you can honestly, because you're gonna you'll definitely get the other stone. That's all. <laughs> oh. Is this way? Is this a Scars one? Yep, it's Scars oh. one. Sick. Wait, I made a little throw for you. You can't actually. You did. Hang on. <laughs> oh, hang on. How do you get this? Oh, hang on. I got it first. There we go. Hey. There we go. Yeah, that's all awesome. Sick. <laughs> so I've spent a while trying to prepare this and it worked. Also, yeah. I've got a gift for you as well. Ooh, okay. A gift. That and that. Woo! Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put these in the collection. I got them from a wandering trader. Oh, while sick. I was waiting for you to get online to scare you. <laughs> the wandering trader's not with us anymore. Nah, I murdered him after that. I've got three wandering trader heads on me. I don't know why I've got three on me. I killed one and I think I picked up two others from like another shulker box or something. Because <laughs> we've killed so many, they're just lying around. Actually, there I have actually got a gift for you. I think you find it. Oh no, it's going to be TNT. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. It's actually proper like a proper gift as well. You forgot which shulker box it was, guys. Look at look at this mess. Look at look at this. Hang on, guys. Oh, we'll be head? back in about fifty minutes. Oh, you got three red dog heads in here. Oh, there they are. There they are. You found them. Oh. <laughs> hey, where were they? Which one? <laughs> I, I got a red dog head already as well. So that prank did not go as successful as I thought it would. However, it still gave him a little bit of a fright in a way. We were also able to get another hat, which I do have in this ender chest here, which is basically a replica of Scar's hat, which I think is pretty cool. If you guys don't know Hermitcraft, then you wouldn't know this, but for people who do, this here is Scar's hat, and we've kind of implemented it in the server. I did not even mean to implement it in this server, but it just, I guess, came along with the default texture pack that I've kind of added to the server. But yes, we're going to actually do something now that we haven't actually done in a very long time, and we should have done ages ago, and that is finish off the castle. Yes, I have done plenty of terraforming. Helm's Deep is basically all done, but the exterior, the big wall along the outside, the big ramp out the front, we have not done anything towards it. So that is what I'm going to do in this next time lapse. We're going to finish off the exterior 
and then hopefully it will look a lot better. But yes, anyways, let's hop into a time lapse. So I did say that I would do a time lapse, but it actually corrupted, which is sad. Yes, you're looking at a time lapse that I'm doing right now, but you will soon find out that it just stops out of nowhere. Basically, what I was able to achieve was I built the whole entire wall that goes to the other side where that mountain is. You can see where it ends right there. I haven't added too many details to it yet. I plan to do all this terraforming around it as well as I plan to add a bit more detail to the flat grassland that's covering the river out the front of the wall. My replay simply just stops right there. You can see up the top here it only goes for eight minutes which is kind of weird because I spent an hour and a half building this and I was expecting a time lapse to be an hour and a half but it did not want to work with me. Hopefully this isn't an ongoing issue with other replay shots. I'm going to have to fix that. So as you guys can see, we have now finished this entire wall that goes along for Helm's Deep. It doesn't have too many details. It has some barrels, some storage, some fire, and just light sources all along it with some stairs down the side which go to the ground. And I have a big empty room. Oh, okay, I don't want to, no, no, thank you. But I have a big empty room basically all inside here that goes to the other side. And I want to turn that into some sort of trophy room for all the trophies we got at the start of the season from all the advancements. During that build, funny enough, Austin got online, and you know exactly where I am going with this. We were able to dress up in a creeper costume once again, and we freaked him out. I'll play the clip right now for you guys. Austin has just got online, so you know exactly what I'm about to do. So I've still got Ruben here, so he gets to witness what I'm about to do. I'm going to bring a second invisibility potion just yeah. in case. I'm hiding behind a tree. I'm going to pop out as soon as he starts moving. I got him! I got him! <laughs> he jumped! Like, he punched me! Imagine if you had the exploding creeper one. <laughs> Bro, with my creeper elytra, this looks so funny! <laughs> anyway, I need to hop in a call with Austin real quick. So, Austin, did you get jump scared? <laughs> I saw it when I was in the middle of typing, and I was like, well, if it blows up, it blows up. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, oh, great, there's a creeper. Oh, <laughs> oh great. <laughs> so we were able to get Austin, and I was actually pretty proud of it. He jumped out of his skin when I got to him. Now, I don't think I've actually shown you guys this place here. As you can see, I've already actually got eight diamonds in there, which is really good. It shows that people have actually been here. Basically, you can get an elytra restore for one diamond. You put the diamond in here and this thing will start shooting out XP and you can basically get enough XP to get your elytra back up. I'm very happy with that. This 7-Eleven has turned out very well. Now, the next part of the video, we need to work on our trophy cabinet. It's been a while since we've actually done any advancements or trophy based uh, achievements on the server. So these here are all our trophies for completing the different advancements on the server and we need to put them in a display somewhere. So as I said earlier, our display is going to be inside this wall here. However, it is infested with a whole bunch of mobs right now. So I'm going to have to do something with that. Now let's grab some torches because I don't want to blow up this entire wall. There's going to be plenty of creepers in there and I do not want to deal with them. 32 torches should do. I probably underestimated the amount of torches I'm going to need for this wall. Why is this so empty? I heard like millions of mobs earlier and now... You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. But this would have been better earlier on. There we go. There's some monsters. So yeah, this entire hallway here, we're just going to turn into our trophy displays. I'm going to have to find a better way to get in here than mining through the roof as well. Okay, that's that whole place now lit up. Now let's go and design ourselves something that we want to do in there. Because I still haven't planned out what I want to do. I'm going to go to Starkin's base because he suggested something earlier, which I thought is really good. And that is the fact that he's got a lot of bee wax. His bee farm has been going non-stop, which we can just turn into hives. And I thought these hives are going to be really good as a floor pattern. I am just going to grab some of this. Thank you, Mr. Starkins. And now I need to go steal some wood from somewhere. We do have a tree farm. I don't think it's been working too much, but we'll find out. Okay, we do have a bit of wood still lurking in these chests. Okay, I think that's a little bit too much. I made two and a half stacks of this stuff. Actually, that might not even be enough. I'm underestimating how much I'm going to need for the floor in here. Okay, I need to find a better way to get in here. I'm still mining through the roof. What if I can do it from the wall here, maybe? I don't know. We'll find something. 
I like that pattern. If we're able to do the beehives in a certain pattern like this all the way through, I reckon that'll be a good floor design. So we have now finished up all the floor inside the walls and we are now going to turn this into our trophy cabinet. As you can see, I've already brought down all my trophies I've achieved for all the different advancements that we've done throughout the season. As you can see, I've also made a spiral staircase that comes down inside the walls from the top up here. So now I've actually got an easy way to get down there, which is very good. Now all we have left to do is to actually display all these trophies and we're going to start with the easiest ones and then we'll get to the harder ones as we get to the end of the hallway. I am going to need a lot of smooth stone slabs to make a lot of armor stands in this because I'm going to display each one of these trophies on their own armor stand almost. Stack of armor stands should do. So what my plan is, we're going to start off with the really simple advancements and trophies such as this one here, which is basically for picking up a flower. So for each advancement trophy here, we're going to make its own little trophy area, I guess is what you could call it. So we're going to make like a little garden for this one here. We're going to make some sort of big explosion or whatever. I don't know for this one here. You understand what I'm talking about here. This one here for defeating the dragon, if you remember that. Without touching the ground, we're going to create, I don't know, some dragon monument or something. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So let's start off with the first three and we'll make our way through all of these advancements. There we go. There's our first trophy display. As you can see, they're not going to be massive displays. They're just going to be these little sections as we go through this entire hallway. But that's our first one completed. You can see that it's nice and colorful for this trophy because it's a flower and as well as you achieve it for receiving your first poppy on the world. There's our second one for achieving Flowey the Flower and Undertale reference. It's achieved for kill or be kill, which I still don't understand what it means, but I think it's something to do with the player dying. That's why I kind of did just a dead biome almost with some dead bushes, some brown mushrooms and some coarse dirt just to make it look a little bit dead. That thunder legit just scared me. But either way, we have done our next trophy, which is called Zero Tick Farm, which was for achieving a lot of XP. I think it was 100 levels. I should have really checked what each of these trophies do. But either way, I do know a brief description on what each of them do. I just don't know the exact amount you need to get the advancement. But that one there is for XP. That's why I added a lot of like redstone components around it because it's like an XP farm almost. Now the next advancement is called Master Miner, which is basically achieving a maxed enchanted pickaxe. Doesn't have to be netherite, but one with every single efficiency, unbreaking three, mending, and then silk touch or fortune three. And I was thinking, you know what? Let's make a deep slate pile. And I was going to use deep slate until I realized that we've only got one deep slate in this chest. So I'm going to have to go on a quick deep slate mining trip. Hang on, let's see if I can remember where it is. There it is. I haven't used this in ages. Oh my days, it is so dark down there. I haven't been here since like episode two or three. This is crazy. This here at the bottom was where my zombie spawner is, which I used to grind to get me XP so then I could level up before we had the Enderman farm. Ever since I got good gear, I have never been down here. It's also got an enchantment table set up down here. Yeah, you can hear the zombies and this is where they appeared and this is the enchantment setup. Oh, I remember this. Like, look at all this rotten flesh that we used to grind. Potatoes and carrots as well. This isn't too bad for XP, I'm not going to lie. Definitely a lot of zombies seem to be spawning. Okay, but I shouldn't get distracted. We're here for this stuff, which is deep slate. Oh, uh, I should I use? Yeah, I'll use normal deep slate. I was, I was planning on using maybe a bit of... Hang on, I just fell down. I seriously just ran into diamonds. I didn't even mean to do that. I was simply just mining. Yeah, yeah, no, I just ran into diamonds. That is crazy. It's got a vein of six diamonds, which is crazy. Of course, I'm mining for deep slate, and now is when the tough comes out. And then when I'm searching for tough, I don't have any tough. Well, I'm going to get out of here because I've got enough deep slate now. I've got almost a stack. There is our next one, which is for Master Miner, which is getting a maxed out pickaxe. And you get the trophy, a tinfoil mining helmet, which I've made like a little ore mountain almost with another pickaxe as well. And I think this turned out great. So I have now gone ahead and done the next three. I've done this one, which is refreshment, which is basically walk. I think it's 1000 kilometers or something across the world. So I've just done like a little cooling station almost with a lot of water. We got over here jumping jacks, which is jump 1000 times, which as you can see, I've just used a whole heap of slime blocks because they're very bouncy. And then we've also got Superman's cape, which is flying 100 kilometers across the world, which I've kind of just done as an armor stand looking like he's in the Superman pose or something, as well as I've just used snow and concrete to make it look like he's on a cloud. So we've still got another shulker box and three quarters basically left. 
and I don't think it's all going to fit in this hallway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second story at some point, and then I'm going to put the rest of the trophies up there. But I reckon we finish off the rest of these trophies as a time lapse. So without further ado, let's hop into a time lapse. Trophy room is done. I have used way too many armor stands in this world. However, I think they look absolutely amazing. Now, we have quite a few trophies in it. I definitely feel like everything's so tight in this room, but I think it just makes it feel so much better because there's so many trophies in here that I have achieved, each of them having their own display. We have too many trophies, in fact, that I made a second story. And yes, I put some expensive blocks like a beacon in this area as well. You can even see that I put up netherite and diamond blocks as part of the display. These two here especially, which was for serious dedication, which is the advancement for destroying a whole diamond hoe. But this one is serious dedication version 2, which is for a netherite hoe. Which obviously I had to use a netherite block here. I don't know why I decided to do it, but we've got a netherite block just hanging out there. And then as we get through, we've got the really difficult advancement we've got the reality stone which is collecting the 64 dragon heads as well as we've got the dragon bow which is for defeating the ender dragon without touching the ground so i'm really happy with how this place has turned out obviously there's still bits of detail like the roof needs a bit of a change we got the ladder here that goes to the second story which probably needs a change there's probably a lot of things i could still do in here to make things look a bit cleaner and less of an eyesore but either way we've completed the trophy room and any more trophies i complete i can just add to the second story up above now that is a weight lifted off my shoulders, having all these trophies out of their shulker boxes and now put on display so then I don't have to worry about them ever again. It was also a good idea to have the trophies in the walls here as like a trophy display because originally these walls were going to be solid or just lit up and never looked at or seen ever again. And I also use smithing tables. I know this is a unique block, but I think the underside and the top side both have a good texture for building, especially roofs. This here looks absolutely amazing. It doesn't really fit the stone bricks. I definitely feel it doesn't fit the stone bricks, but the beehives and the smithing tables, they work really well together. Now, during that time lapse, I came across a little something over towards our 7-Eleven. Let's fly over and I'll show you what I mean. As we go over to Mordor, there is this big building that has just appeared out of nowhere. And of course, it decides to thunderstorm. Is there a bed I could sleep at? You know what? Let's just sleep in this little caravan here that has appeared out of nowhere. But yes, our 7-Eleven up there has now got some friends. We've now got a road that goes across and goes towards a McDonald's, which inside the Maccas has burgers and fries. This is done by Austin Gamer, and I feel like he's got a bit of a competition up his sleeve. He's trying to rip off my 7-Eleven from those diamonds right now. He hasn't even finished off the Maccas and it still somehow looks good. He's also built this giant road, as I said, and it's got some traffic lights and everything. And he's still going with the entire thing. He's still got to finish it off. Out of nowhere, there's just a little campsite over here. None of this really makes sense. It's just popped up in the middle of nowhere. But a build is a build and it still looks pretty good. Now, because he has competition with bringing Maccas in, I need to build something that will sell more than his burgers and fries. So in this little flat area here, I've decided we're going to make ourselves a Subway restaurant. We're going to be making sandwiches. We're going to be making sodas. There's going to be a lot of food in here that we are going to sell. So then we can steal all the diamonds from Macca's over there. So we're going to form a quick transition of me clearing up this area just like this. And there we go. Look at how smooth this area looks now. We've got a building space to build this Subway. And yes, then I got a little bit carried away. Look at what I've just built. I would never picture me building a subway in Minecraft, but this turned out very well. I'm very happy with how the interior worked out. I'm also very happy with how the exterior worked out and it looks very good. Hang on, let's just chop down these trees so I can see this a little bit better. There we go. There's a couple trees chopped down. So eventually we'll be able to see this a little bit better, but I think it's turned out very well. We got the big sign there. We got the banners here and the interior is like a little restaurant. We got the seating, we got the counter as well as we brought in some food items. We've got the normal Subway sandwich, 
We've got the meatball sub, as well as we've got some sodas for the players to drink. However, we have none of these in stock. So we got to go make some now. And there we go. We have now got a whole load of sandwiches, meatball subs, and a whole load of sodas. Each for the price of one diamond for both the sandwich and the meatball sub for one stack, as well as we got the soda, one diamond for two stacks. So yeah, let's see how much we can earn from the subs. I know Starkins is definitely going to love it and Austin. Let's hopefully make more sales than Maccas will. But yeah, now we've got both a 7-Eleven and Subway along here. So imagine how cool it would be if we had just a whole heap of restaurants and takeaway shops around here. Anyways, I think that is time to end the episode here. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Next episode... Oh, you know what? We may as well just end off each episode with a takeaway restaurant at this point. So yeah, we're going to have to figure out which one we're going to build next. Next episode, we're going to actually finish off the exterior of our castle. I'm not sure how much I'll do on the mountains because I did have a break from it this episode and maybe next episode we'll find out. However, I do plan to finish off the exterior of the castle. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.